that. Anything now? Maybe. There is no manual mute. It's a it's a mic. Anything? Maybe. We good? Yeah. Aha. I had routing different in the I don't know. Who knows? So I'm sitting here talking to myself for like five and a half minutes going, why was everything different today? I don't understand. Um, oh yeah, there's crazy delay. Yeah, there's cat. Um, I started the stream like usual in you in YouTube and everything, you know, you crank up the thing and you go street live, whatever. Um, it, uh, I had to put in a new stream ID, like a new stream key. I guess it was expire after a while, maybe. I'm not real sure. But I was like, okay, whatever. You know, paste that in there and change that. Because I had the stream software going and I can see the audio and everything's all hunky freaking dory. And YouTube's still sitting there spinning. Like, nothing doing. I'm like, what the hell's going on? So I had to change the key. That was weird. Then I paste it into Facebook and everywhere. And it's not parsing the... Uh, the thumbnail image I'm like okay that's weird and then you and then no one shows up i'm like okay what the hell is going on today <laughs> oh man um using a different camera i'm sure that's not the issue let me know how you think oh yeah i was talking to myself for a while you know it it, it happens sometimes you know as long as you don't answer it's okay <laughs> but yeah today was uh, and then it turned up private i was like what the hell why would anybody have a private live stream? That's not a live stream. That's just a video. Like, why is that even an option? Usually when I start a, a live stream, it pops up a thing and the, the thumbnail from last time was in there and the title from last time and I can go in there and change stuff. I didn't get any of that this time. It was like completely start from scratch. Apparently I missed the private button. Like why that's a thing, I don't even know, but yeah. So welcome everybody. Thank you very much for coming to hang out because, geez, <sighs> what a pain in the ass that was. That was freaking weird. <laughs> it's therapeutic. <laughs> I mean, could be worse, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Between that and booze, I mean, shit, we're, we're just one big therapy session, aren't we? <laughs> so let's see if we can get a few more people in here and then we'll, uh, we shall chat. Be used as class teaching, so you have to have think link to watch. No, it was set to private. It wasn't set to unlisted. It was set to private. Like there was no link. It was private. I was like, wait, what? Everyone in Discord started pinging me like, hey, 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 hey. Why a? I mean, a private live stream. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> unlisted. Yeah, sure. Oh, sorry. Unlisted makes sense. Yeah. Because then you could give out the the link to people that you want to show up, and it, sure, but private that that's not a live stream. That's just a video. <laughs> I do those all the time. I don't need any more of those. Jeez. Oh well, I used to do those all the time. I've made a video in a while. Uh, I'll get into why once we get some more. Shut up, Google. Go away. I'll get into why here in a bit, but there is a reason. Well, a couple reasons, but I'll go over at least one. Uh, I can be uh, testing to record it. I guess I don't know. It doesn't make any damn sense. How's your coming in Arizona heat? The the heat really hasn't bothered it at all. Um, it's been working just fine. I mean, as fine as it ever does. Uh, invite only. That would be unlisted. Like if you have a video that's unlisted, uh, private. I think you can still send links to, but usually people do that with unlisted. Like if it was unlisted, then yeah, you can send a link out, and that makes sense. But private. What? Very strange. Probably means you have to invite specific P YouTube accounts. See, I, again, I would think that that would be unlisted, not private, but I don't know. Either way, whatever. Yeah, it's been nuclear balls-tastic here. Okay, so they've been doing National Weather Service weather uh, recording here in Phoenix since, like, the late 1800s. And this has been the hottest summer ever. Not exaggerating. It has been literally the hottest summer 
in the history of Phoenix as far back as time can tell. So as far as like going outside and doing things, no. Today, for instance, our uh, normal high is like 104, I think. Yeah, it's supposed to get up to about 112, I think. 111, 112, something like that. And what sucks about that, though, is usually when it's hot, no big deal. You get up early in the morning, right after the sun comes up, and you're good to go. Or you wait till the sun goes down, and then it's fine. No, no, not, not, not this summer, no. When the sun goes down, it's still hot as shit. So, yeah, this summer's been kind of crazy. So as far as, like, going out making videos about the tower and all that, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, not, not the best time for that. <laughs> I'm cool with 112. That's no big deal. It's when it's over 110, literally, for record-breaking amounts of time that it's like, all right, that's enough. Stop. Just stop. We broke the record for most consecutive days over 115. We broke the record for most days over 110, which we're still racking up days. Oh, I guess I could probably show you guys, right? Uh, if you guys ever want to see the weather at my house. Oh, you can't see the... Yeah, you can't see the address. My weather station at my house is K-A-Z-L-A-V-E-E-2-4 on Weather Underground. So if you want to bring it up. But yeah, as you can see, it's 113. It's also been really humid. That's why it's, it feels like 115, not 113. I don't know what is up with the humidity this year, but no shit. The humidity this morning was like 45%, which for Phoenix is just, I, I don't know what the hell's going on. That's really, really weird. But it's been stupid hot. And it's going to continue to be stupid hot. So going outside and doing things, not so much. 114, 113, 110, 111, 110. The, the rough part, though, is this low. Like lows in the high 80s, it never really cools down a whole lot. It's, it's been pretty rough. Uh, let's see. Tower Project's going awesome. I mean, it's still there. <laughs> It's already up and done, and it, it just kind of is what it is. I had Herb come out last weekend and move some radios uh, last Sunday morning. He moved the one facing one way a little bit and moved another one down a little, and little tweaks like that, but it's, it's kind of up and done. Uh, and it hasn't fallen down yet. It was so windy a couple weeks ago, okay? One of my subscribers is right over. I mean, shit, I could almost hit their shit with a rock. From the tower, that is. They're... they're really really close they're kind of in between me and the tower uh i called him because he was having some issues and he kept calling me and messaging me and stuff uh he said that a gust of wind blew through blew everything on his patio off and flung it in the desert he said his wife was holding onto a lawn chair and it picked her up off the ground the wind was so strong so i'm pretty confident now that the tower's probably going to be okay <laughs> If it can survive the storm that we had last week, was it last week or earlier this week? My freaking, my, my uh, uh, what do I call it? The um, quarantine routine. Everything just kind of mushes together. It was either last week or earlier this week. I don't remember. But if it could survive that storm, I think we're probably okay. I think it probably is going to be there for a minute. So to all you haters saying a tower's going to fall down. Looks like it's okay. Again, fingers crossed. Knock on wood, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's going on? Mike and Entrepreneur Box is here. It's even too hot for the anti seas at work. <laughs> Who uses anti seas? Get out of here. Uh, hell, you have nothing on our Florida humidity. Well, I lived in Florida for two years, and yeah. Uh, humidity makes shit uncomfortable. It doesn't necessarily make it hot. It, it's a different kind of thing because it feels hot. The way we cool down is we sweat and then the evaporation of the moisture is what cools us down. Well, when the air is already saturated, like 90, 100% humidity, whatever, that doesn't work so good. So yeah, it, it does make it hot, but it's not hot. Like hot here is 
you know, like you stuck your face in your oven kind of thing. Like when you open the oven door and you go, oh, God. Sometimes when you go outside, you're like, oh, God, that kind of thing. Florida isn't quite like that, usually. Um, lived in West Palm Beach for two years. Spent many, many summers in Jacksonville. Uh, Florida is like second home. I like Florida. Florida's a good place. I miss the beach, too. Go kick some sand for me, huh? Uh, it's a Tuesday in Alabama. Yeah, I'd, uh, again, nope. I also lived in northern Kentucky for 11 years and humidity for days. You know, 90 and humid, it just sucks. It sucks. It feels a lot hotter than it is, but it's not hot, if that makes sense. It's hard to, it's hard to, if you've never been here for, you know, 120, I can't really explain it. It's, it's a different kind of thing. Um, it definitely sucks. Like, I would rather dry heat, as they call it, like we have here, than freaking humid garbage just uncomfortable and as soon as you go outside you're like Bleh. unless i'm in florida florida's awesome <laughs> uh, 99 today 85 percent humidity yep that sucks <laughs> oh, up to 30 viewers i love you all no homo uh good thing climate change is not real otherwise imagine what it could be <laughs> we ain't going there shut up <laughs> humidity over here is in the 60s Last 18 days, it was temp-wise in the high of the 90s. 2020. Dude, 2020's been ridiculous. Now, did you see that there's two freaking uh, hurricane? I almost said tornadoes. Two freaking hurricanes going in towards um, Texas and Louisiana and all that? Two of them. There's actually a term for that. I didn't even know that. Somebody mentioned it on a post, and I was like, oh, shit, that's a thing. Uh, it's some Japanese-Asian-sounding term, though. I don't remember... So we're just going to, oops, hurricanes. There. <laughs> I don't know. What do they call that shit? Hmm. Term? No. I actually have it on my phone. I can just pull it. I got my phone right here. I guess that would work, huh? But I didn't know this was actually a thing, and it is. It's, it's, uh. Fujiwara effect. There we go. Fuji spelled kind of weird effect. There we go. But yeah, it's it's actually a thing where two hurricanes can either join or kind of bounce off of each other. It's really weird. I had no idea. Who would have ever thought, right? I mean, that's that's some some craziness. Huh. <laughs> I look grumpy, huh? <laughs> I was. I was for a minute, but I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. We it's it's always a pain in the ass getting live streams going, I swear. If you change anything, everything's broken. It's freaking nuts. But yeah. Speaking of twenty twenty, here's the next freaking chapter of Jumanji, I swear. It's like what the hell's going on? Now we have, now we have two hurricanes coming in at the same time. Huh? I don't even know that was possible. So, yeah. Welcome to Jumanji Chapter 17. Ugh. Let's see. How many customers do you have? Uh, same as I've had forever. About 30. Well, I kind of have to count because a couple of people moved away. So, 25-ish, maybe? Oh, my God. Have you tried looking into Blesta or WHM for billing? No, because I have no idea what those are. Uh, here in Central Valley and Cali, been having 110 plus for about five days. Now, with all the smoke from the fires, it is so uncomfortable to do installs. Oh, dude, I can't even imagine doing that shit. Um, speaking of California, though, and the fires, I keep seeing people talk about the fires as if there's something new. Um, no, <laughs> no, I was born in Southern California in 1983 and lived there until 95 ish, 98, something like that. And I remember it was always on fire. <laughs> I remember very vividly going outside and that smell, the smell of the smoke. And, and you look up and the sky is like a weird ass, like orangish color. It's always done that. California's always been on fire. So this isn't really something new. The fires may be a bit more 
uh, a bit bigger than they were, but this it, it's not really anything new. I uh, really hope people stay safe and, you know, pay attention to that kind of shit. It's serious. <laughs> there is actually, uh, it, it's almost like flash floods. I think people take it kind of, you know, they brush it off. They're like, eh, whatever, they don't take it very serious. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> it's real. If they tell you to get out of Dodge, get the hell out of Dodge, will you? Having any issues with ESD, I'd replace two of my surge protectors and my 85-foot tower. Not yet, knock on wood. That's the last damn thing I need right now. Um, I got some big things in the works. I know you've heard that before, right? But I, I this I feel good about, better about. Good about? Yeah, good, good. We'll go with good. So um, let's see. Wet, hot death when you walk outside with high humidity. Yep, pretty much. Uh, last time it happened was in the 30s, I think. It was uh, That sounds about right, because I've never heard of that. The whole, like, dual freaking hurricane thing. I, I was like, what? But, yeah, apparently it's a thing. That should be fun. Not. Uh, yep, only locusts and four guys on horses. We have full deck for this year. No shit, right? <laughs> My God. Don't don't jinx it for us, okay? Just stop it right now. Just stop it. <laughs> so I was talking to another local Wisp guy, other than John. Uh, his name's Ken. He's actually in the um, when we were putting up the Ultra Horns. He was in that video, along with Dave. Oh, quick update on Dave. Uh, he went to the doctor, and the last doctor visit turned out really really good for him. They said he doesn't need surgery right now. They need to kind of keep monitoring it, keep an eye on it. So to all of those that uh, donated, thank you so much. You should have got refunded by now. If you didn't, please let me know so I can make sure you get your money back. But for now, he's good to go. They just got to monitor it. So very, very cool. Thank you all. You're the best. Um, anyway, uh, I was talking to Ken and might end up doing a 11 gigahertz licensed link. He might help out with that a bit. So that would be amazing. 11 gigahertz has a smaller Fresnel zone than five. So the the elevation issues that I'm having right now where like part of my Fresnel zone is blocked would go away. That would be amazing. Um, I might be able to get a whole lot more speed. I should definitely be able to get a lot more speed down here which would be incredible because then I'd be able to start hooking people up again. I have a list of people waiting still. Uh, I, I, I'm starting to get like phone calls and emails and text messages and stuff from people. I had one guy come to my door like, hey, you doing the internet? So definitely got people waiting. It'll be really, really good to start getting people hooked up again. That should fix all of my issues because right now my number one issue, really the only issue I have, honestly, is the backbone link. It's the only issue I have overall. Um, I got no shortage of customers. That's for damn sure. I, I just, I can't hook anybody up right now because the backbone link is so flaccid. It, it just, it's steady as all hell, but it's like small. <laughs> to use ridiculous terminology. Uh, let's see. So yeah, as far as like billing systems and everything, I ain't even worried about that right now. I can cross that bridge later. That That's not even a thing right now. I need to get the backbone link bigger. Like, you know, what she wants, and right now it's... So, yeah. Uh, let's see. I use Blesto with 300 customers, supports postal, postal methods. Things where you don't have to print stuff. They print it for you. Tend to keep a retainer on it. That's cool. Have you heard of Radwin equipment for Wisps? I've heard of it, but I'm not familiar with it. I heard the name thrown around somewhere or something. I'm not real sure, but yeah, I've heard of it. Thumbs up. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Got to play the YouTube game, right? Hi from Norway. Hey, very cool. I'm working on Start Wisp like a channel. Appreciate it. Make it happen, man. You can do it. Hell, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> I'll drop you a line tomorrow, idea for the backhaul. Okay. 
I have very high hopes for the 11 gigahertz plan we have worked out. Um, he also told me about a place where you can go and get um, like rental office space, basically just an office building. And I was looking around. The building that I used to work in when I, f- not when I first got to Phoenix, I'd been here for a little while, but it's been years now. It was such an amazing building. I was like, man, right downtown Phoenix, it was like the 16th floor. Um, it was amazing. I was like, dude, I freaking made it. This is this is the shit. Uh, the office building is in there. They have offices in that building. I'm like, oh, hell yes. So, and it's cheap too. Like a couple hundred bucks a month. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll go check this out. Hell yeah. Somewhere to keep my radios and my junk that's in the garage, if nothing else at all. So I can write it off as a business expense. I don't care. So I'm going to go look at that tomorrow. Uh, I might take a camera along and try to show everybody, but I don't know how cool they'll be with that. And plus, everyone's all uptight with the stupid Corona age shit. I, I seriously hate going out right now. I hate it. I hate it so much. I basically go to the gas station, the uh, grocery store, and like a handful of restaurants that are over here. And that's kind of it. It's just uh, it's miserable. Hope you guys are hanging in there. Because this shit sucks. Uh, I'm trying to get a backbone link for the past three years. Thanks to people on your Discord, I may have finally found my solution. Very awesome. That would be killer. Hope it works out for you, homie. Uh, Colored egg farms. Put some spaces in there, man. Damn. Almost said colored egg. What the hell is that? But yeah, that would be amazing. Like, really hope that it works out. That is definitely the hardest part is finding a connection to sell and like the backbone part that, I mean, I have so many people email me and have no clue that that's even a thing. Like, what are you going to plug it into? And they're like, what? They think they just buy hardware and like, poof, you have internet. Like, "Eh, that's not really how it works. That is the hard part of all this for sure. So if the discord could help you out with that, that would be amazing. So hey, best of luck, homie. Can you show a screenshot of my backhaul link right now? What is total capacity? Yeah, I can do that. Let me pull it up. Yeah, sure. Why not, right? Oh, my God. I do believe it is time to buy a home router as well. I am actually on the same network, my house and everything in it, that is, as everything else on all the CPEs, uh, the backbone radios, everything else. I left it that way because I wanted to be able to get into all the radios and all that, uh, kind of a hack and slash, definitely not the best way to do it way of doing it. It's worked okay from now or, you know, up until now, but I'm almost starting to run out of freaking IPs. Like (laughs) it's gotten kind of crazy. So I'm looking at routers. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely make a video about that because that'll be interesting to say the least. Let's see, we got anything in here? I don't want you find people to see. Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. Whatever. We'll roll with it. Yeah, it looks good. So this is as it is right now. Yeah, only 90 megs down. And you can see the utilization. Like, the utilization has been, no joke, two to three times what it used to be before the coronades. So... It's, it's just, I can't hook anybody up right now. I hooked one person up two weekends ago because they kept emailing me and emailing me and emailing me. And it's steady enough now where I had that tiny little, I was like, no, oh, yeah, okay, fine. We can do that. But I, I can't go out and hook up. I, I have shit, probably five people I could call up right now and just done go. And, uh, I can't cause I mean, as you can see, 83 megs of 90 can't do it can't do it Uh, let's see where'd it go total capacity right there 150 megs it works i mean it's it's been really steady since i put it on the tower and and got it dialed in and everything it's been really really steady but just the, the capacities are just not there at all. Not at all. Is it a broom closet for a couple hundred a month? 
No, I th- uh, Jack Dom mentions around 400 square feet for about $300 a month. Yeah, it, it's somewhere around there. I don't know the exact square footage or the exact cost. I think it depends on like where you're at and whatever. But it's somewhere around there. A couple few hundred bucks a month, four or 500 square feet, something like that, which would be fine for me. Yikes. Yeah, I know, right? It's 90 mags. Garbage. I have her I Norway... I have a backbone at 100, 100 gigabit. I work at the data center at my hometown. Oh, well, there you go. You're all set, man. If you can get it to where you need it, you're all set and ready to roll. You have a couple of A batteries to do <laughs> double A batteries to power the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Micro tick. Micro tick is in the works. So when I do the 11 gigahertz thing, if that actually does come to fruition, i uh, going to put a micro tick router at the tower and do everything kind of the right way. Now we'll do traffic shaping through the router instead of the way I do it. Now, uh, Ken had a really good point. He's like a big part of why the, the slowdowns are happening is latency. I'm like, well, it's not really latency. It's just running out of capacity, which kind of creates latency that everything gets stacked up and has to wait to go out the radio. I was like, oh, well, yeah, I guess that's basically creating latency then, huh? The more I thought about it, the more I was like, hmm, yeah, guess so, huh? <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to get a micro tick router and do everything the right way, finally. <clears throat> Which I know will make some people happy. Uh, bigger scope. Well, I, that That's kind of putting a Band-Aid on it, man. I, I don't need to use a bigger scope. I need to fix it. All I have to do is put a router in my house, which... I didn't want to before because I wanted to be able to get into the router or the radios easier. Um, being on the same network makes that pretty easy. You can just log right into them and away you go. Once I switch over and, and get the uh, router all set up, I'm going to do some stuff in the data center. So I'll be able to get in on that side a lot easier because, yeah, can't can't do the um, the whole like one big network thing anymore. Plus, it'll make it easier to find stuff that's not supposed to be there. Um, if anything is on the main network, it really doesn't matter. Not that I can think of anyway. Like, why anybody would care about being on the main network? I have no idea. So, it'd be easy to find that stuff that's not supposed to be there. It, it would only be CPEs and the backbone radio and a couple switches and a router or whatever. But I play the guitar just for decoration. I do play the guitar. I have played guitar for many, many years. Well, relatively speaking. I'm only 37. I've been playing bass since I was 12, 14, something like that. Picked up a guitar a few years after that. and Yep, it's all downhill from there. <laughs> I have videos on YouTube. Check out uh, Google my screen name. Um, what's the name of that damn thing? Freak Out. F-R-E-Q-O-U-T. That's like one of my favorite music videos I've ever made. Uh, another video is if you do... Um, base 10 let's do this song it'll pop up hopefully let's try it that's actually a song I released a few years ago don't have any lyrics still waiting on someone to sing on it but eh. oops you see now I'm curious let's do this let's go like this base 10 let's do this song mm, maybe Aha, right at the top. Butimus. Yeah, this is the song I released. God, it's been years now. Um, So, if you search this, you should be able to find that. I also have a SoundCloud. SoundCloud. slash RP5S. Yeah. Things, things, and 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 things, and... Yeah. I play a little guitar. I have ordered... You can see the light AP GPS and the uh, 5 AC Gen 2. Hell yeah, man. Get it going, Eric. The light AP GPS, no joke. I wish I knew about that when I started. I would have started with those. Those are just, it's been working great. I'm using one as we speak, and it's it's been great. And they're so damn cheap. Same here, I've been playing the bass since I was 12. Hell yeah, man. Got to play them, them thick strings, right? This one, ooh. This one right here is the main bass. 
Ibanez Sound Gear SR705, if I remember correctly. Uh, I have a couple other guitars and a bass and stuff that's not on the wall. I have another I have a ukulele over here. I got a violin over here. I got another guitar over here. I got I got all kinds of random shit all over the place. I got a keyboard right here. I, I got music stuff everywhere. So not everything is in frame, but yeah, <laughs> it's a good time. Does your whole network have only one public IP? Yep. Oh, it, it's been asked many times, my friend. Yes, I only have one public facing IP. I don't give public IPs because it's a pain in the ass. Uh, and no one cares. Mostly no one cares. The eventual network topology for me was using CPE as a router. Um, that would definitely work. Uh, up to 34 viewers. Hey, hi everybody. I think we're at a record now. If I'm not mistaken. It might be a record. Uh, thanks for coming to hang out. Leave a message. Say hi. Uh, use CPE as a router. That, uh, again, that would definitely work. All the CPEs do act as routers. Um, what I do is I have them provide their own or I sell them a wireless router, like a regular home wireless router. I don't need to like triple NAT everybody. They're already NATed once behind the main router. So if I did the CPE routers and then their router too, because everybody needs a Wi-Fi router, you know, it, it just makes it really simple to have them provide their own or buy a wireless router and create their own network, leave it all as a, a bridge on the other side of that and just be done with it. Uh, it's worked out great so far. Again, knock on wood. Mm, not ideal, but kept the routers plugged in backwards from, yep, there you go. I would try to find a 34 dBi dish, putting receiving in. I have a link that's nine miles out, not great Fresnel zone. We can get over 200 megs. That would be a quick fix. The thing with a 34 dBi dish is that it's monstrous. It is huge. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that would help a whole lot anyway. My Fresnel is pretty blocked. <laughs> it is. It's pretty blocked. So I don't know if that would help a whole lot anyway. And the tower wouldn't be able to hold a freaking dish the size of a minivan. So not really an option. I have test mini router from Cisco, Juniper, Microtech, PFSense, and many others. Go for it, man. IGPS? What? Paul, what's going on, man? Yep, record. <laughs> How about that, huh? And then people leave. Shame. Wow, only one IP? Yep. Works good. And how would you deal with some copyright letters or problems if people download illegally? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. It's it. I track nothing. I If they can track them down, have at it. If I got a DMCA takedown, I'd be like, I don't know what you want me to do. I'm not required to maintain any records. I don't maintain any records. I don't care. Do any torrents show up for you? I have no idea. No idea. And if they were smart, they'd be doing that shit through a tunnel anyway, which wouldn't be my IP. It would be some other IP. So don't know, don't care at all. I tell people don't do illegal shit because that would be bad. But as far as like DMCA takedowns and stuff, whatever. Haven't had to cross that bridge yet. Maybe it's a bit more than that, but yeah, I'm not worried about it. Do people in NAS systems get annoyed by the NAT? No. Either nobody has a NAS, or um, I think what's a more likely scenario, it's kind of like security cameras. I do have a couple um, subscribers with security cameras, and it's not like back in the day where you had to do like port forwarding for everything and all that. Now stuff does NAT punch through. It'll actually reach out to a server and connect on its own. You don't need to do all that anymore. It's not like back in the day. It, it does it all automatically. Um, when I hooked up one in particular, I was like, hmm, I wonder if his cameras are going to work. And they did. They still do. So, um, yeah, <laughs> everything just kind of works. Uh, best is PF sense for the price. There you go. ISP is not required. That is correct. ISP are not legally required. Yeah. Uh, Kalia. I don't know what that is. Smart man. Yeah, I, I don't I don't track or maintain any records about anyone's data in any way. 
at all. Like, I don't, I don't know why anybody would, but I don't keep anything. So even if they did come to me like, you have to give us this IP, I'd be like, dude, I don't know. Like, I legitimately don't know. Uh, you help me start an internet business? Awesome, Paul. Good to hear, man. Best of luck with that. John, why don't you use Microtech, bandwidth management, CPA, C CPE? La, 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 la. Yeah, Microtech's good stuff for uh, traffic shaping, from what I understand. What kind of bandwidth do you have access to at the data center? Oh, I have a gig at the data center. Yeah, I have a gig at the data center. Symmetrical gig, fiber. Um, I just, it's a matter of getting it over here. That I could have 100 gigs over there. It wouldn't matter over here. I, I it, Getting it over here is the hard part. Yeah, one, one gig, I think, yeah. Uh, you checked how many active sessions you have running through your primary router? Me? Who do you handle DDoS? What? I don't know what you're saying, homie. Uh, definitely want to move to a micro tick, though, because if nothing else at all, people rave about those things. Oh, I feel like I have to burp. But people seem to love those things. So I uh, hear a lot of really, really good things where there's smoke, there's fire, that whole kind of thing. They're, they're probably pretty good. ISP sell this data. That is why they keep it. Something is free. You are the pro Well, yeah, true. Fun fact, all of our location data and everything else, it all gets sold. So true. I ain't doing that. Ain't going to happen. Nope. I was, quote, a fiber 10 gig for 2500 a month by Cyberlink for my Wisp. Why in the hell do you need 10 gigs? Like, seriously. If you're not, like, you're, you're not going to be able to get that over one single backhaul. So if you're serving, like, 10 different areas and they're all with, like, perfect line of sight and you have licensed links or 24 gigs within like two or three miles or something like, okay, that, that may work, but why? Yeah. I told him I needed it one gig. Yeah. I mean, there, I was reading a review of a, a router today. Cause like I said, I'm looking into getting a router for the house and they were bitching and moaning that the WAN port on the, on the router only did one gig. And I'm like, and <laughs> who the hell has two gig internet to the house? You, nobody. In America, at least, it was actually the uh, the Amplify Alien Amplify Alien router. Oops, this thing looks pretty sick, but I think I'm actually gonna go a different route. I'm gonna go the Asus 88U. Yeah, look at this thing. Oh, it's so sick. Look at it. A little bit cheaper too. That thing looks pretty nasty though, and it is supposed to be really really fast it's a really good router so if you're looking for a new router hard to go wrong but they were bitching and moaning that the uh the freaking um wan port is only one gig I'm like what the what, what the hell why does that matter <laughs> apparently this one has a freaking two uh 2.5 gigahertz or mega uh gigabit hello 2.5 gigabit wan port I'm like, why? It even does link aggregation and shit. I'm like, dude, that is nuts. But I think this is the one with the 2.5 gigahertz for, or uh, gigabit port. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure. Because this one only has only one gig. It's like, shit. Get out of here. Oh, see, it's in my freaking cart. I do remember this one does the... Uh, those like link aggregation and shit. I'm like, what? That's sick. Go away. Eight LAN ports. It, it's like just the most beastly router ever. All the Wi-Fi 6 stuff that's coming out, though, is all the uh, 802.11ax is really, really fast. Like, it's good stuff. Uh, I am only nine. Well, young to be on YouTube, homie. How do you handle DDoS, denial of service attack from the internet to the your only IP? Oh, well, 
Uh, I don't. <laughs> why? Why would somebody DDoS a network of like thirty IPs? Like, could it happen? I guess I don't know. Uh, we think it happened once, maybe. I think it was a misconfiguration. John was saying it was a DDoS. I'm not real sure. Um, but there's things in routers and whatnot you can do to kind of mitigate that. We have some stuff set up to, but I, I don't worry about it. That, the likelihood of that happening are pretty slim. I don't need that. They think I was an idiot trying to make money. Don't need, I'm not sure what we're talking about. There's some 10 gig backhauls out there. Not to the house though. Like that, not in America, maybe other places. Shit, in America, if you get one gig to the house, you're lucky. And it's probably expensive and it's completely pointless. Why anybody would get anything over like 500 megs or so probably would be plenty for 98% of users. People think they get a, you know, I have a gig internet. Your video is still going to stream the same. Your Facebook is still going to load the same. Every, everything's going to be the same until you try to download some massive file which unless you're a gamer trying to download the new flight simulator, holy doggy, that's a big ass file. Uh, you'll never notice a difference. It, it won't make any difference. It's the biggest waste of money. A buddy of mine does that. He, he subscribes to, I think it's Cox Gigablast, if I'm not mistaken. And he knows I do this and he'll kind of give me shit because, you know, oh, your, your internet's only 25 megs. I'm like, yeah, my internet pays me every month. But he'll, he'll send screenshots of like 900 megs or whatever to his house. And it's like, who cares? What do you do with that? Surf Facebook? It doesn't serve any purpose. I don't know. It. it I don't really get it. People have 1.5 to the house, depending on what location. 2.5 wide, you have extra bandwidth for streaming. It. A 4K video stream is a 4K video stream. Like, no. There, there's no need for it. Have you had some offerings? Well, I TP Link are the best. Uh, mm, eh. I'm not a huge TP Link fan. They do have a TP Link, uh, what is that one called? TP Link AX6. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. This one's also supposed to be really, really good. Even though it looks freaking retarded. Like, good God. That, that's. Sure, lo looks don't really matter a whole lot, but come on, guys. What are you doing? <laughs> that thing looks stupid. The only thing that looks more retarded is this. Like, what the hell? Are we making routers or are we making freaking Star Wars ships? Like, come on. Really? <laughs> uh, is Wi-Fi 6 fast for Wisps? Uh, no. Don't think you're... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, going on, Mohammed Shuri. How's it going, man? I'm good. Hanging in there. Having a drink. Cheers. Uh, looking forward to Wi-Fi 6E. Yeah, you know, it's it's in the works. We got Wi-Fi 5, and then we now we have Wi-Fi 6, the AX protocol. You, you know they're working on the next biggest, greatest. Uh, 10G PTMP offerings are more for MDUs in urban areas. Yeah. I mean, if you're doing some, you know, acting like a hub kind of thing, yeah, sure. That's what I mean. Like, if you have really good line of sight to a whole bunch of places and you're doing a whole bunch of service to a lot of different areas and eh, maybe you can utilize that but most people there it just there's no way like why that would be a thing i don't know for most people some people yeah but yeah i l e unsubscribed what what are you talking about paul I have 10 gig to my house, but it costs about $200 a month, which is still relatively cheap for here. But I mean, hey, if you can get it, then go for it, I guess. I, I just don't see the purpose. Like most people browse the Internet and stream video from YouTube and stuff like that. There, there's only so much you can use like it. Most people aren't transferring massive files and stuff. That's when it matters. Most people aren't doing that ever. I would use it. It'd be great for me, probably for you too. But for the vast majority of people, I don't know. I don't know. I would tell most people get like 300 megs, maybe 500. 
you'd be fine. Hell, 100 megs. But, hell, I have everybody down here on 25, and it works just fine. I mean, shit, you saw, I'm not even pulling 100 across the damn backbone, and it works fine. Everybody streams, everybody works from home, everybody, everything works perfectly fine. So, I mean, if you can do it and you want to pay for it, go for it, I guess. I don't know. I can get 10 gig for 99 euros a month, but I have to rewire the whole house, though. <laughs> How many customers can 1G manage, John, think? You're doing a great job. I have two. Are you talking to me or somebody else, Jason? I'm not John, just so you know. Is there a John in here? I don't know. <laughs> I have 200 megs, 21 customers, and I use Microsoft Band Management for 5 megs. Hey, there you go. Price for 1 gig is 120 bucks, and 100 meg is 80 Oh, well, might as well do it then. Jeez. 400 megs behind a restaurant bar that has 50 TVs in their POS system. Yeah, exactly. I mean, who the hell has 50 TVs in their house? Like, or even just 50 devices that are going to be streaming at the same time. Most houses, maybe 10. Maybe. It, I don't know. Google is starting up test for 6 gigahertz. Yeah, that'd be cool. My purpose form of five is my Plex server and game down. Well, like I said, yeah, some people like me and you would use it. But the vast majority, we are not the normal Internet user, my friend. <laughs> that would be the the only detox is that? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting name. Uh, 400 megs is a lot. Yeah. I mean, that's plenty for anything. M the vast majority of people will do 300 megs. For, hell, even 200 would be. Plenty for most people. They would never notice going from 200 megs to a gig. The vast majority of people would never know. They'd know the bill. <laughs> They'd notice their bill like tripled. But other than that, they would have no idea. Uh, 250 megs on a line connection for a family is good enough. Oh, yeah. 250 megs is perfectly fine. Linux ISOs. Yeah, I mean, when you're downloading big files. That's what I was saying. Bad thing is fiber low price is $80 a month. And many like a t lower price, and they just need 25. Yeah. My old home runs off the internet. We don't consume normal cable TV or OTA. So it means 4K movie streams, YouTube streams, and such all the time. Yeah, me neither. I don't have cable here. Cable isn't even available here. Even when I was on Cox at the old house, that was a cable connection, but we didn't have cable TV. We streamed everything. We still do. Even on this 25 meg connection that, you know, I have... 30 different households running off of ish. It works fine. Like that's why people bitch and moan about not having gig. And I'm like, why I have like, shit, let's do a speed test. Let's see if this does this show up any weird freaking GPS data or anything weird. Speed test.net. I actually tell people don't do speed tests on the network. It just creates unneeded. Oh yeah. It shows the, forward facing IP so I'll just run it real quick and this is with a stream going the wife's watching TV um, all the devices and everything in the house are connected like usual and I'm pulling I'm still pulling 22 megs I got a 19 millisecond ping I mean I'm gonna stop it before the upload because I don't want to affect the stream but yeah like even with all this going on I'm still pulling 22 megs and you saw my backbone I'm only pulling 90 to everybody like it if you can get more and if you want more and if you want to use more by all means go for it especially when it's not a whole lot more expensive might as well you know looks like we got up to 37 oh oh breaking records today that's what 2020 is all about right <laughs> thanks everyone for coming out to hang out by the way you guys rock um I think Super Chat's active if you want to pitch into the 11 gigahertz fund. It is greatly appreciated. Um, like I said earlier, everybody that donated to Save Dave's Brain, if you didn't hear that before, uh, if you didn't get your money back, let me know. He went to the doctor and doesn't need surgery right away. Thank God. Very, very cool. So if you donated and didn't get your money back, let me know. But thanks for coming out, everybody. It's, uh, it's always cool, breaking records. I think this is the most people we've had on at once. So very cool. Why are we buffering? What's go oh, really? Did I kill it? Really?
how is it saying excellent connection and buffering at the same time? Like, what are you, what, what is it doing? Francisco, thank you so much. Yeah, I killed it with the speed. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, man, I broke it. It's no joke. I got the, the spinny wheel of death in the window, but everything else is, is happy. Uh, again, streaming, very inaccurate, inexact science. There we go. But Francisco, thank you so much. Greatly appreciated. Uh, what equipment can I start for my wisp? Check out the video I made about um, wisp equip or how much does a wisp cost? I go through three different um, like ideas, like setups in that. Honestly, if I knew when I started what I know now, I would do um, light AP GPS to get started for the sector radio. Uh, the backbones, I would probably still try to do the uh, AF5X HDs just because you can put different and antennas and dishes and all kinds of different cool stuff on it that suits your uh, use case better. But that and then for CPEs, whatever's cheapest, light beam or nano beam. I kind of go back and forth between the two, whichever's cheapest because they both work great. Uh, so let me go back up here. Uh, 400 megs a lot. Yep. Dish. 250 megs long, yep. Linux ISOs. The bad thing is fiber low price is $80 a month and many like a lower price. Uh, yep. I think I already talked about most of these. Yep. What happened to the regular weekly videos? Oh, yeah. So about the weekly videos, nothing's going on right now. Like once the network's up, it's just kind of it is what it is. Um, not a whole lot to do a video on. I can't make a, a BS video about just nothing. So I kind of just don't make a video that and it being like surface of the sun temperature outside for the past three months, it feels like I, just, I just haven't been doing it. So thought I'd do a live stream and chat with everybody because live streams are always fun, right? Uh, Paul said, I am going to unsubscribed from me. Okay, <laughs> go ahead, I guess. I don't know why, but all right. I'm lucky enough to have Google Fiber and I love it. 70 bucks a month for gig. Just wish they'd let me rent some IP space. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. That'd be awesome, huh? Sexy Flanders. That's an epic screen name, too. Uh, Google Fiber, they were growing pretty quickly, and then it just stopped. They were supposed to come here to Phoenix, too, and they just didn't. So I don't know what's up with that. You worried about Starlink? Nope. The only detox said... Fair enough. I don't remember what I said, but yeah. <laughs> uh, we got 200, 200 for 30 a month per unit via microwave to the building. Yep, there you go. That's what's up. But I pay less than fiber than most people pay for cable. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. If if it's cheap, then might as well, you know. Rather too much and not enough. LTU. LTU is in the way. On the way? In the way. Yes. Story. A local company made a scam with the local municipality in the USDA and walked away with 4.1 million USD to run fiber service. And as a wisp, they are now bankrupt. Wouldn't surprise me, man. I, I heard something when I was first starting out. They were talking about like government grants or whatever. And I was like, uh, okay, sure, I guess. You know, why not? I guess. What do you have to have to. Um, you know what how do you qualify or whatever he's like oh well, you have to have 250 subs or something like that and i'm like if i had that many subs i wouldn't need their money <laughs> it really didn't serve any purpose so i don't know whatever i ain't worried about government money ltu technology is good uh yeah i mean can be depends on what you want to do with it ltu is kind of ubiquity i think it's ubiquity's specific um i think it's proprietary not real sure but i think it's their own like faster version of what they offer uh, been fun to see me like hey joseph been awesome to have everybody here too 
it's very cool to see the the graph get bigger and bigger every time i do this so very cool glad everybody came out to to chill Have you thought of renting out rack space to customers to cover costs? Uh, I've done that. John is actually a rack space renter, or he was. Um, now he doesn't have anything else on the roof, so the stuff in the rack, he's got to get that shit out of there, speaking of which. But yeah, like, um, was doing that, can do that. If you need something in the server rack, then let me know. <laughs> Google Fiber is buried in legal shit by come. Oh, well, yeah, that would kind of make sense. The backbone radios are AF5X HDs for now. Who do you handle all the network broadcast packets? What? Grants, Connect America Pro. No, I don't care about grants. I, I hate doing paperwork. I'm all in all not a huge fan of the government, despite being ex-military. Go figure, right? Uh, eh, I mm, don't care. No easier to do it myself <laughs> have you been contacted to volunteer provide your expertise in helping bridge the digital divide i've been contacted about many things it's the first time i've heard digital divide <laughs> i don't know what that is enlighten me what do you mean oh it's so good i feel my voice going out though <clears throat> how long we've we been doing this an hour seven, so I've actually been talking for about an hour. <laughs> Being I was sitting here alone for about ten minutes, five minutes, however long it was. It's funny, I can only go about an hour and my voice starts not being happy with me. <clears throat> that means we are nearing the end, my friends. Scalable mesh. Ooh, it's so good. Look at this thing. It's not perfect. Like some of the ways that it does things are not quite ideal. When using it as a mesh system, I don't really think it matters as a standalone. I don't really care about mesh system. So I guess it wouldn't really matter to me a whole lot. The thing's expensive though. It does have a really, really cool thing though. Um, I'm sure it mentions it in here somewhere. That's cool. Um... Yeah, because you can buy it as a, a kit. <clears throat> 379 steep. There's a thing where you can actually use this as a VPN. So if you're out traveling or something, you can route your traffic through your home router, which is actually kind of awesome for free. They don't charge you for it. I was like, all right. Only works on um, Android, iOS, and Google TV from what I understand. That may have changed since the article I, re I read was written, but like that's pretty freaking cool, actually. To be built in free and super easy like that? All right, cool. Uh, areas of little or no internet, especially for families doing remote schooling. Yeah, I'd love to help people out, for sure. Sorry, man, about name. Oh, <laughs> you're good. John, that's your friend that you do a video with sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember exactly what you were saying about John, but yeah, I got you now. Uh, broadcast packets. You are, well, see my previous videos. We've we've had a couple issues with that. Um, it's not really a, a major issue so far because I make everybody buy their own, their own router and NAT themselves. So there's not really all that much on the main network, me and my house which is the majority of things. And then all the CPEs and the backbone radios and stuff. So it's not really a huge issue. Um, that being said, I do have a subscriber that keeps whining about, um, well, I wouldn't say whining. He keeps messaging me and stuff about dropping packets. And I'm like, because he says his like uh, VPN won't work for work and he can't do his Teams meetings and all that. And I'm like, I don't understand how you're having so much trouble. No one else on the network is like I work from home too for the day job. I'm on teams meetings and all that goofy shit all the time. I'm on VPN all day, all day. So I don't know exactly. 
not sure why he has so many issues. Like he'll send me screenshots of ping tests and stuff. And he's like dropping, you know, a packet here, a packet there, you know, shouldn't really cause any issues. And he had one of his people that he works with or people that he knows or something. I don't know. Message me and, and trying to convince me that, you know, well, dropping a ping will affect the VPN. And I'm like, dude, I'm on the same network. <laughs> I'm on VPN all day, too. And I, I sent him a, a article that I read was talking about how up even up to like 40 percent packet loss VPNs will still work. IPsec tunnel VPNs anyway. I don't know what they use, but you know, it should be fine. And no one else has issues. And I don't know. I it, The only thing I can think of is noise over by him because he's the only, pr- and it has to be like really, really close to him because there's another subscriber like right across the street from him. So I don't know what the issue is over there, but yeah, it made me think of that. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's see. The media is finally realizing the U.S. internet infrastructure is awful. Yeah, it's not great. That's for sure. It, it could use some help. It's not super slow, but it's not very fast either, and it's really expensive for what it is. Uh, that's what happens when you get monopolies. Uh, I'm looking for a good router that is good for about 60, 60 IoT devices? Good God. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, check out the the one I just had open, actually. This one. The Asus AX6000, the AX, AX88U. This one actually has beam forming. I'm sure it's not the only one, but supposedly the beam forming stuff actually helps with uh, when you have a really con- uh, really congested network like that. It can help kind of send signal where it needs to go. Uh, I don't know. I-, I think what would affect you more is range. And if you need extreme range, a mesh network. Like something like this where you can connect multiple together. The Orbi 6 is actually even faster than that one. Orbi 6, yeah. It's like $700 or something, though. It's really, really not cheap for a freaking router. But if you need extreme range, this is hands down going to be your best bet. I mean, 85, good God, I didn't even notice that. 8,500 ratings, and it's 4.3 out of 5. Jeez, people love this thing. Damn. Damn. So if you need range, that. If you need just really, really fast stuff, either of these would probably be fine. You, I mean, yeah. They're all super fast, man. What the hell are you doing with 60 IoT devices? Good God. TP-Link router, Wi-Fi 6, it's very cheap. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really care about cheap. I'd rather have good. I mean, if you have public IP, you can run a VPN server on pretty much any router. Yep. I run LTTP on my router. Yep. You can do that. Port is forward ports. Yeah, you can do that too. Yeah. Is he on Wi-Fi? Yeah, he is. But I went over to his house and plugged directly into the router and ran some tests and everything worked perfect. I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. Wi-Fi is ter- terrible for anything. True. Well, true-ish. It's less than ideal usually. <clears throat> Yep, voice is starting to not play along anymore, gents. Or lady and gent. There may be like one female in here. Could it be that his CPE is on the same channel as his home router? I already checked that. Nope. Uh, customer care can get really bad. <laughs> the VPN is fine. Yeah. Uh, most of my subs have been really, really nice, actually. It's been super smooth sailing. Shit, for the first... It basically, from when I started until the whole Coronades thing happened, like no one ever messaged me at all. I mean, it was smooth sailing. It was gravy. It was fantastic. And then Coronades happened, and my utilization went through the roof. And you know, ooh, up to thirty-seven. Ooh, did we hit forty? Oh, thirty-nine. Oh shit, thirty-nine's the record. <laughs> you guys are awesome. You're the best. Uh, could it be a CPM? Yeah. Customer care. All my lights, locks, cameras, and sensors. Yeah, I guess you, yeah, you, lots of, yeah. Jeez. Currently run an RT86U, and it keeps dropping devices randomly. Well, yeah, that bitch might be about maxed out. RT86U. I think that's the previous version of this router, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yep. 
one of the previous versions at least. I actually have a Asus router that runs my security cameras. <laughs> That's completely separate off the network. All it does is run the security cameras though. 1.8 gigahertz dual core processor. I swear, this one has a quad core. I'm like, what? And a gig of RAM and a router. I'm like, damn, why? <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to take off. It has been grand, everybody. Records falling like dominoes. I love it. You guys are the best. Still up to 38. You guys are fantastic. Uh, let's see. Are you going to try UNMS Pro Router? Mm, that's a thing? UNMS Pro. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. That's like the dedicated thing in the jiggy. No, I wasn't going to. Should I? <laughs> well, no, that would be at my house anyway. I don't I don't need that here. Only for stupid early. Get out of here with that. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> this early live stream. Get the issues you're having sorted out. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently the live stream was set to not live. Uh, be safe during your videos. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. This is uh, it's all for you. You know, I, I document all this stuff so people can see it and, and get something useful out of it. Hopefully it's helpful for everybody. It really does seem like it is. Uh, it really keeps all this going. That's That's why I have such a hard time making a BS video. Like, I can't just make a bullshit video about nothing. I was going to do um, the uh, Air Max, or not the Air Max, the uh, whatever the damn spectrum analyzer built into the thing is called. I can't think of it right now. Somebody will message it, I'm sure. But I was going to do one about that. Uh, I haven't gotten around to it yet. I'll do it. But, yeah. You guys are the best. I'll see you around. Later. <laughs>